The coronavirus vaccine developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca will not be approved by the EU's Medicines Authority yet, despite receiving the green light from the UK. The drug was given approval by the UK's Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, MHRA, today but according to EU officials, the vaccine does not have the required paperwork to be rolled out on the continent. Despite infection rates rising in multiple countries, the European Medicines Agency, EMA, Deputy Executive Director Noel Wathian stated the drug could not even be given a conditional marketing license. Due to this lack of paperwork, the drug will not be able to be rolled out in January unlike in the UK, the EMA official told Het Nieuwsbald, they have not even filed an application with us yet. Not even enough to warrant a conditional marketing license. We need additional data about the quality of the vaccine. And, after that, the company has to formally apply. The EU has only just begun its coordinated rollout of the Pfizer drug on December 27 after delays on the approval of the vaccine. In contrast, the UK approved the same drug on December 8 and has vaccinated over 600,000 people as of last week. After beginning its rollout of the Pfizer drug, the EU has ordered a further 100 million doses of the vaccine. The drug is currently the only vaccine approved for use on the continent. Although the drug was rolled out to all member states by Sunday, some had already begun their own vaccination programs on Saturday. While the EU waits to give approval to the Oxford University drug, the UK will begin its own rollout on January 4. Health officials have stated it is a game-changer in the UK's battle with the virus which has now spread rapidly across the country. Speaking on today's news, Professor Andrew Pollard, director of the Oxford Vaccine Group and chief investigator of the Oxford Vaccine Trial, hailed a great moment for the country. He told the BBC's Today programme, this really is a great moment in what's been a difficult year, and definitely a moment here at Oxford, at the University, of pride in our team for this astonishing achievement in science and clinical research during the course of the year. This year with the pandemic has been like being in a blizzard. We've been really struggling uphill through snow drifts and with this ice wind in our faces. And I think this morning we do have some respite with this good news and the warmth that that brings, and perhaps some hope for the future.